Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K and today we will be discussing about the important sulci and gyri which are present on the medial surface and the inferior surface of cerebra. So in the previous class we have seen the sulci and gyri of uh, the superolateral surface. So today we will start with the medial surface. So on the medial surface here you can see a yellow marked area and that represents the connection between the left and right hemispheres of cerebrum and that is nothing but the corpus callosum. So this is the corpus callosum which is composed of commissural fibers or the connecting fibers between the left and right hemispheres of cerebrum. And immediately above the corpus callosum you can see a sulcus that is called the callosal sulcus. The callosal sulcus immediately above the corpus callosum and a little above and running parallel to that of the callosal sulcus is the cingulate sulcus here. So you can see the cingulate sulcus. So this one is a cingulate sulcus and this one over here is the parietal lobe region. So on the medial surface of the parietal lobe you can see a horizontal sulcus that is the supraspleneal sulcus. So these namings are according to the location in respect to the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum itself is having different parts that we will be discussing later. So just keep in mind in the parietal region, in the medial surface there is one horizontal sulcus that is the supraspleneal sulcus. And starting from the tail end of the corpus callosum, you can see the two sulci which are running away from each other almost perpendicular to each other. So the upper one is the parieto occipital sulcus which separates the occipital lobe from the parietal lobe. We have seen that a part of it in the supralateral surface. So the major part of the parieto occipital sulcus is on the medial surface. So you can see it here and starting from the same point you can see a sulcus that is running downwards and that is termed as the calcarine sulcus. So that is the calcarine sulcus. So these are the important sulci which you have to remember when it comes to the medial surface. The callosal sulcus, the cingulate sulcus, the supraspleneal sulcus, parieto occipital sulcus and the calcarine sulcus. So these are the important ones you should remember. Here you can see another one that is a collateral sulcus. That will be discussed later when we explain the inferior surface. So the medial surface is composed of the corpus callosum which is a prominent arched structure consisting of commissural fibers passing from one hemisphere to the other and just above the corpus callosum is the callosal sulcus and parallel to the callosal sulcus is the cingulate sulcus and between these two sulci there exists the gyrus which is termed as the cingulate gyrus and the gyrus which lies above the cingulate gyrus is termed as the medial frontal gyrus which lies in the frontal lobe and the cingulate sulcus splits to enclose the paracentral lobule. So these parts comes under the gyri and that we will be seeing in the form coming following picture. And in the parietal lobe region, we have seen there is a supraspleneal sulcus. The area above the sulcus is the precuneus. And in the occipital lobe region, we have seen the region between the parieto occipital sulcus and the calcarine sulcus, which is called the cuneus. And we have so we can remember it by the precuneus, which lies above the supraspleneal sulcus, and the cuneus which lies between the parieto occipital sulcus and calcarine sulcus and below the calcarine sulcus is the lingual gyrus so let's see that here so this is the supraspleneal sulcus above it that is the precuneus and above the cingulate gyrus cingulate sulcus here you can see this area that is the medial frontal gyrus and here between the parieto occipital sulcus and the calcarine sulcus you can see the area that is called the cuneus. So these are the things you should remember 
between the cingulate sulcus and the callosal sulcus you can see the cingulate gyrus then above the suprasplenial sulcus you can see the precuneus between parieto occipital sulcus and calcarine sulcus you can see the cuneus and just above the cingulate sulcus you can see the medial frontal gyrus so let's move to the inferior surface of the cerebrum the stem of the lateral sulcus divides the inferior surface into two parts that is the orbital surface which lies above the eyeball that's why it has got the name the orbital surface above the orbit then the tentorial surface that term also got the name with a relation that is the tentorium cerebelli that is uh, the structure that is coming under the uh, subdural folds that we will discuss later then the orbital surface which is having the olfactory sulcus the area medial to this is the gyrus rectus so there is one sulcus that is termed as the olfactory sulcus and the area medial to this is the gyrus rectus that we will be seeing in the following picture and the rest of the area on the inferior surface particularly in the orbital surface it is divided into four parts by an h shaped orbital sulcus which divides simply divides that area into anterior orbital gyrus posterior orbital gyrus medial orbital gyrus and the lateral orbital gyrus and the tentorial surface it is composed of two major sulci that runs andro posteriorly which are namely the collateral sulcus and the occipito temporal sulcus that is laterally while medial to the collateral sulcus is the para hippocampal gyrus and the area on either sides of the occipito temporal sulcus is medial occipital temporal gyrus and the lateral occipital temporal gyrus respectively so here you can see the inferior surface of the cerebrum where you can see this is the lateral sulcus the stem of the lateral sulcus it divides the inferior surface of the cerebrum into two parts that is the orbital surface here and the tentorial surface here so let's take the orbital surface first you can see one projection there are two projections here they are the olfactory bulb and the sulcus lying just below it is the olfactory sulcus and you can see an h shaped sulcus here that is called the orbital sulcus which divides the orbital surface into anterior orbital gyrus posterior orbital gyrus medial orbital gyrus and lateral orbital gyrus and these two are the important sulci present in the orbital surface and when it comes to the tentorial surface here we have two major sulci that is the collateral sulcus here which is running andro posteriorly and lateral to that there is occipito temporal sulcus which is also running andro posteriorly so these are the two important sulci which are present on the tentorial surface and the gyri which lies medial to the collateral sulcus is termed as the para hippocampal gyrus this is the para hippocampal gyrus here and when it comes to the occipito temporal sulcus the gyri which lies medial to it is the medial occipito temporal gyrus and this is the lateral occipito temporal gyrus so it's very easy to remember if you remember the sulci you can name almost all of the gyri so here we have the olfactory sulcus the orbital sulcus the collateral sulcus on the tentorial surface and the para occipito temporal sulcus which is also present on the tentorial surface so this is the para hippocampal gyrus then here we have the medial occipital temporal gyrus and the lateral occipital temporal gyrus so this concludes the important sulci and gyri which are present on the 
cerebra. So we have discussed about the supralateral surface, the medial surface and the inferior surface. So this concludes it. Thank you.